take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of worry, stress or tension to feel like it's leaving your body in your outward breath. That's it. The slower you breathe, the more relaxed you become. As you imagine a wave of relaxation starting at the very top of your head and slowly, gradually rippling down much like throwing a pebble in a pond and seeing the ripples of water as you breathe in and breathe out. Feel that wave of relaxation start to take you deeper and deeper relaxed. That's it. Notice that when you breathe in, you breathe deeper in than you normally would. And when you exhale, you make that outward breath slower and longer, enabling you to feel that any anger, any suppressed emotions, feels like it's being evaporated and just leaving your body in that outward breath. Breathing in a resourceful feeling of calm relaxation and exhaling tension. As you start drifting off to a place of calm relaxation, I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine a place where you feel deeply relaxed. Maybe a place like a beach near water, maybe near a lake near the sea. But as you start to remember a place where you feel calm and relaxed, imagine being in that place, perhaps seeing blue skies. Imagine feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin. And just imagine any tension in your body feels like crystals of ice trapped in your muscle tissue that is slowly being melted away, giving you a wonderful feeling of getting deeper and deeper relaxed. Just imagine there, in that place in nature, as I count down from 10 to 1 with each descending number, you will feel 10% deeper and deeper relaxed. 10, focusing on the muscles in your forehead. Just releasing any tension around your eyebrows. The same expressions that create concern or surprise. Allow those muscles to completely relax. 9, focusing now on the muscles around your jaw and your cheeks. Breathing in that wonderful feeling of calm, relaxation just releasing any and all tension around your face and jaw. Eight, focusing now on the tiny muscles at the back of your head. I want you to get a sense that it almost feels like your head is weightless, just like a helium balloon, requiring no energy or tension to allow it to feel completely light and relaxed. And then seven, focusing on the muscles in your neck and shoulders. All that tension melting away. Seven goes to six and feel that ripple of relaxation going down your arms. All the way down to your fingers. That's it. Arms feeling limp, loose and heavy. As you breathe in and breathe out deeper. And then feel that relaxation going inside. Your heart relaxes. Lungs relax. Stomach and diaphragm all the way down into your gut. As five becomes four and just feel that 
any sensations there deep in the gut are releasing all emotion, any anger, frustration, any sense of injustice is all just melting away. Four becomes three and your legs out there in nature just feel limp, loose, heavy, so relaxed. It's easier to breathe in and easier to breathe out. And focus on those muscles in your leg. Perhaps feeling the weight change. One leg feels heavier than the other. But feel that relaxation. Start going down the leg. All the way into the calf muscles and then the toes. As three becomes two and two becomes one. And just imagine. Feeling that you're drifting off. Into a stage of deep relaxation that awakens your imagination as you imagine drifting off into a dream-like sleep. And there are things you can do in dreams that you can't do in reality. And one of the things you can do in dreams is to effortlessly go back in time. So as you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to imagine rewriting history, updating memories, Updating memories to make things fair. To create justice where there was a lack of justice. To update memories as you would have wanted them to have been. And I want you to imagine, it is you that changes. You that takes the initiative. And you that takes control. I want you to go back to a moment in a relationship where deep down you knew... It really wasn't working. Maybe there was some childish behavior or pettiness. And I want you to imagine observing that version of you. But this time create an expression on their face, on your face, that signifies that you're emotionally checking out. That knowing what you now know, it was clear this relationship wasn't going to work. So see that version of you, way before anything happens, emotionally detaching from that relationship, knowing that sometimes there is a lag time between making a decision and implementing a decision. And just observe as this version of you starts to emotionally check out. And then go forwards in time and see yourself perhaps meeting someone new. And by all the things that are important to you, this new person would represent someone better, more suitable, perhaps more mature. Think of all the qualities you find desirable and imagine this new person has those qualities that they want to do things for you. You can tell, perhaps, from their body language, their posture, that they are invested in you. They want to see you safe, secure, and happy. And as you observe that, just imagine feeling there is a connection between you and this new person, only possible because you detached from that previous relationship and then imagine going forwards in time and imagine witnessing almost like you're an invisible entity in the room observing perhaps an argument or discussion and imagine hearing words that imply that your ex-partner knew that the relationship wasn't going to work out They had already emotionally checked out. But in this updated memory, see yourself being the one to instigate the end of this relationship. See yourself informing them, not with raised voices, with no anger, in a clear, calm, composed, pragmatic way. This relationship can't work. This will need to come to an end. 
even if there is a discussion, see yourself cool, calm and composed, clearly communicating, you are ending the relationship. And once you've seen that version of you emotionally check out, find someone new, find someone better, and then end the relationship, let me know by nodding your head. I want you to imagine your unconscious mind is capable of anything. It can travel through space and time. It can imagine floating. It can even imagine breathing underwater. So just imagine it doesn't have to connect to reality. Just imagine you're seeing yourself doing what is necessary to emotionally detach from a relationship. And then imagine going back to that very first moment, the version of you that emotionally checked out, but this time feel that you're in their body reliving the moment. And in this memory, imagine in a first person perspective, seeing something childish or petty or immature. And then imagine perhaps with inner dialogue, maybe a shake of the head feeling that In a first-person perspective, this relationship is no longer viable. It's not meeting your needs. It's not going to where you need it to go to. And just feel in this moment that before any decisions have been made, you've emotionally checked out of the relationship. See the pettiness, the childness, that immaturity. And at that point in time, feel that You are the one checking out of the relationship. It is an internal decision just for you, not communicated to anyone else, and feel that you are detaching. And then imagine going forwards in time, feeling you're in a first-person perspective. And because you've emotionally checked out, you've now found someone new, more desirable, more capable all the qualities that you like, but you're now in a first-person perspective. And maybe their specific features of their face are blurry, but you just know that this person better meets your needs than the person you were with before. And now that you're emotionally detached, you feel that as one door closes, another door opens. feel that there is a strong connection there that needed detachment to take place for this new attachment to begin and then imagine going forwards in time and imagine having a discussion where you hear the words words that in hindsight are clearly unfair the kind of words that are more about taking than giving, that have an expectation, a pressure on you. And as you feel like you're hearing those words, it allows you to feel that you, with a clear conscience, now have the ability to end the relationship the way that you would have wanted to have ended the relationship. Feel the words leaving your mouth in a Cool, calm, composed way. Fully in control. Direct, assertive, confident. You are ending the relationship. Whether you give reasons or not is up to you. But feel like you are the one ending it. And I want you to imagine as you see their face that you drain all the colors away. You shrink them down. And allow your mind to update memories of the past that as you become emotionally detached, you start seeing them differently, almost like a stranger, like someone you used to know. All the emotional attachment of the past is now disappearing. The strands of connection are being cut. 
whatever bond and connection was there in the past is now broken. And then imagine updating everything from the past to the present into the future where you feel in a first person perspective a feeling of disconnection, a feeling of detachment, a feeling that this is the past and there is no need to feel that you are connected anymore. In fact, imagine a protective barrier forming around your emotions, allowing you to detach from thoughts and memories of your ex-partner. Breathing in and breathing out, and with each breath, feel a wonderful sense of calm detachment washing over you, gently releasing any lingering emotions tied to that past relationship. You could imagine your ex-partner fading into the background of your mind, becoming like a distant figure, like a stranger passing by, devoid of any emotional charge. And you could also picture yourself observing thoughts of your ex-partner from a place of detachment, as if watching scenes from an old movie, unaffected by any emotional response. Feel that the loose ends, the unfinished business of the past, no longer concerns you. It's all water under the bridge. It is your past, and you couldn't care less. Visualize yourself cutting energetic cords that bind you to your ex-partner. Imagine having shiny scissors and just cutting those cords, freeing yourself from emotional attachment and allowing neutrality to take its place. Feel a sense of liberation as you release any lingering feelings of anger, hate, love or desire, all emotions just seem to fade into the background, embracing a state of serene ambivalence. With each passing moment, feel yourself becoming more emotionally indifferent to thoughts of your ex-partner. Their presence in your mind fading into insignificance. Whatever they've done, doing or may do in the future no longer concerns you. Your priority is you and your children and nothing else matters. In fact, you can imagine placing your ex-partner in a box labelled past, closing the lid with a sense of finality and moving forward with a clear and unburdened mind. Feel that you are now protected, shielded, from any attempts from either your memories or your ex-partner to trigger or provoke any strong emotions or reactions. You could imagine a light switch where the electric cable has been cut So by pressing the switch, it no longer turns the light on or off. The switch is no longer connected. The triggers of your past will no longer provoke a reaction. See yourself reclaiming your personal power and autonomy. That the end of this relationship means that you can revitalize and regenerate The versions of you from your past where you were at your most confident, your most secure, feeling of free and energetic. Any thoughts of the past no longer hold any sway over your emotions or decisions. Just like the sea on a calm sunny day, you can feel a sense of peace and tranquility washing over you as you let go of any attachment to the past, willing to embrace the present moment and a wonderful future with open arms. 
visualize yourself stepping into a future untethered by the emotional baggage of your past, free to explore new opportunities, experiences, and knowing that you deserve an even better relationship. As you drift deeper into hypnosis, feel that any remaining emotional ties to your ex-partner dissolve away, leaving behind a sense of calm detachment and giving you a wonderful feeling of inner peace. Imagine yourself standing firm in your own emotional sovereignty, no longer swayed by thoughts or memories of your ex-partner, but rooted in your own sense of self. As you think about your future, you feel that you are moving towards a better future, that somehow your life is gravitating so that before long you will look at the end of that relationship as a blessing, as a gift, as an opportunity for you to enjoy a relationship free of immaturity and more of the very things that you desire most. Feel like you're returning to that place in nature. Feel the sunshine on your skin and feel that you're about to return to the present but feeling detached, feeling that the past is the past and feeling that because if you were the one to have ended the relationship you would have been detached, that it means that the relationship itself is not the cause of any connection. It was the circumstances. And that knowledge itself only amplifies the feeling of detachment. As you breathe in and breathe out, feel like you're returning to the present. But when you return to the present, you carry with you the newfound sense of emotional detachment a neutral, ambivalent feeling, knowing that you are now free to create the life and relationships you desire, unencumbered by the past. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Feel like you're fully returning to the present moment. As very soon I count from one to ten to awaken you, you will awaken feeling resourceful, confident, and feeling, feeling a sense of cool, calm detachment from the past and knowing that now that that door has closed, wonderful doors of opportunity are now opening, starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.